we are now going to see what are quadratic equation and uh, look at some examples to see whether the equations which are given are in the nature of quadratic equations so the first question which arises is what are quadratic equations quadratic equations are the equations in which the highest power of the variable variable means what in an equation you have x you have y and you have so many of these other variables which might be present and the highest power of the variable is 2 right so in a standard form if you have ax square plus bx plus c where c is a constant and a and b are also constant then the variable is x right if you see the highest power of the variable in this equation is 2 right so you could have anything like 4x square plus 6 you could have 4x square plus 3x plus 2 here the highest the power of x is 1 here it is 2 so the highest in any case is 2 again in this equation x is the variable the highest power of x is 2 but is this equation 3x cubed plus 2x square plus 5 is equal to 0 is this a quadratic equation if you notice the variable x which we have has a power of 2 here but here it has a power of 3 so the highest power of x in this particular case is 3 and that cannot be true for a quadratic equation now let us look at some example to see whether in these cases they are quadratic equations or not check whether the following are quadratic equations so you are given a and you are given b you're given first one x minus 1 whole square is equal to 3 times x plus 2 now you know a minus b whole square is equal to a square what is a over here x so x square plus b square b is what 1 1 plus 2 a b is that correct no it cannot be plus it has to be minus 2 a b minus 2 times x times 1 is equal to 3 into x gives you 3x plus 3 times 2 gives you 6 so you get x square plus 1 minus 2x take these to the other side minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0 or you get x square minus 5x minus 6 plus 1 gives you minus 5 is equal to 0 now in this equation what is the highest power of the variable x here it is 1 but here it is 2 right since the highest power of the variable is 2 we say that this is a quadratic equation let's look at the second one so you have x minus 1 cube is equal to x times x plus 1 whole square now a minus b whole cube is equal to what it is equal to a cube x so we will write this as x cube minus b cube b is 1 okay so 1 cube will be 1 minus 3 a b 3 times x times 1 and then you have a minus b which is x minus 1 is equal to x times x plus 1 whole square is what a square plus b square plus 2ab right if you simplify this you get x cube minus 1 minus 3x square plus 3 is equal to x cube plus x plus 2x square right now we can just cancel out these x cubes and x cubes with themselves right and just reshuffle this to the left side so what do we get we get minus 3x squared minus 2x squared this when it moves to the other side the sign changes 3 minus 1 gives you 2 plus 2 and then this will be minus x x when it moves to the other side will change its sign or in other words you get minus 5x squared minus 5 plus 2 is equal to 0 
Now, in this final equation, what is the highest power of x? It is 1 over here, it is 2 over here. So again, the highest power is 2. So we say that even this equation is a quadratic equation. Right? So let's summarize what we discussed. Two things. What is a quadratic equation? It's an equation which has a variable. Okay? It's an equation which has a variable in which the highest power of the variable is 2. If you have 2 as the highest power of the variable, it's a quadratic equation. If you have 3 as the highest power, it is not a quadratic equation.